The third point in healing your confidence is trusting God's promises. What hurts your confidence is wrong concepts. So true concepts fixes this. Correct concepts returns self-confidence. Once a woman came to me and told me that she was upset with God because someone told her to pray to be cured. She did so, but she became sicker. I started to convince her that sickness is not something bad. I told her, didn't you pray a lot during this time? She told me, I've never prayed like this before. I told her, wasn't Jesus crucified? Don't you put your desires in heaven? When we revise the concepts, then it's not necessary for the pain to go away then it's not necessary for you to be treated fairly, then it's not necessary to be healed. But the fact is that God loves you, knows what He is doing, and He is preparing for you the heaven. Right concepts heal weak souls. Don't promise people things God didn't say. His promises are better. He promised people with heaven, not with earth. So why do you promise them the earth? These are false promises. He didn't promise that your problem will go away. But he did promise to be with you in it. Promise what he said, not what you want. Psalm 16 You will not leave my soul in Sheol, nor will you allow your Holy One to see corruption. This is a comforting promise. Joshua was one of the least confident men. He was afraid of responsibility. Christ came to him multiple times and told him, I am with you. I won't leave you. Be strong. Be courageous. These are real, honest promises. But he never told him that he wouldn't face problems. He had never told him that he wouldn't fight like Moses fought. He had never told him that he wouldn't face internal problems amongst the people of Israel. But he promised he'd be with him and Joshua regained his confidence after Moses' death. Moses was more precious to him than his parents, so Moses' death was hard for Joshua. Likewise, Jesus promised Peter in Luke 22, But I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail. And when you have returned to me, strengthen your brethren. This strengthened Peter and made him return.